Hi, this is a video for the second last day of the second week of New Worlds November. The theme being robots and AI and um, for the AI category uh, I've read AI Super Ties Last All Summer Long by Brian Aldiss. A um, trilogy of three short stories. Uh, Super Toys Last All Summer Long, Super Toys When Winter Comes, and Super Toys in Other Seasons. Um, I think it's, it's just slightly different from the, um, the Steven Spielberg movie. Um, there's, um, no, uh, there's no Jude Law, um, Android. Uh, I think Jude Law's the name of the actor, if I'm thinking of the right person. Um, it's really about uh, three characters, a sort of um, disconnected family. Um, Monica Swinton, uh, David, who's the AI, but um, he doesn't know he's the AI. And... Um, Henry Swinton, who's the um, husband, but he's a, a quite a high flyer in one of the um, android selling companies, um, and he's away on business um, most of the time. There's also a character called uh, Teddy, who's another um, AI um, cuddly Teddy. Um, uh, it is, um, I think, quite as sad as I remember. Um, it does, uh, and if you're interested in reading, I'm going to do a spoiler alert once again. So, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, it does have a, um, somewhat happy ending. Well, yeah, I would say a happy ending. Um, so the first story, Super Toys, last all summer long. Um, I guess where the sad sort of thing comes in is the um, disconnect between Monica Swinton, the mother, and um, David, the AI, who um, doesn't know he's AI. And um, the... Uh, Monica woman can't really love him the way she would a um actual biological um son <clears throat> uh at the end of the uh story um she uh is um pregnant and uh, unlike the movie um which actually does have a son and conceives a son and um the son really replaces david the ai um that does not happen in the uh stories the trilogy of stories um in the uh second story when super super toys when winter comes um again it's quite a sad story uh the woman um Monica has um, miscarried. Uh, the um, Henry Swinton character is still doing well in business. The company is quite high flying. Um, <clears throat> and um, towards the end, the uh, woman Monica sort of um, loses her temper with David. And um, there's a bit of a um, disturbance and um, she sort of takes her temper on David and tells him he's not a um, real boy and that Teddy's not a real thing either. <clears throat> and um, in the last story, Super toys in other seasons. Um, the female Monica has um, 
died. It does. It's quite um, sort of ambiguous. It doesn't say how she died, although it's probably um, I would say maybe a month or so after she um, <clears throat> loses her temper and breaks down. And um, David, the AI, is um, out in the uh, the world. He's wandering around, and he. Um, goes to a place called Throwaway Town, which um I think was in the um the movie, sort of. It was like a um uh, a circus type place thing. And um Throwaway Town is as you would guess is where all the um defective uh androids and uh, machines and robots all go to. Um <coughs> the Henry um Swinton character it really um focuses in on him, it really tells his story. Uh he's still high flying, but um the uh the board of the company they worked for um votes him out and so he's um come crashing down. Uh he's no longer with the company. Um or employed, but he has the um, the small uh, factory type place where um, David the uh, android is made, and he goes back there. That's the one thing that he has. Um, he's uh, hit rock bottom, really, and um, he. Uh, goes and he finds David at the uh, throwaway town and he um, brings him back to the uh, <clears throat> to the uh, factory and um, for, for the first time it really um, dawns on David that he is a uh, android um, but they fix him up and um, they reunite him with Teddy because he was um, at the start of the story. He was um, somehow uh, lost touch with Teddy, the, his companion, and they're um, reunited. <clears throat> Embracing the child, he lifted David off the bench. David and Teddy stared at each other in wonder. Then they fell into each other's arms. It was almost human. And um, I got a little bit teary-eyed um, reading it. As I say, it's um, as sad as I remember. Although it does have a um, happy ending. Uh, I'd probably say it's um, comes second to The Defenders by Philip K. Dick as the best story I've read so far, although it's three stories, so I don't know if I really count. Um, <clears throat> turning to uh, the um, robots graphic novel, um, I think I've read. Uh, I don't know if I'm at the halfway point. As I say, you know, it's um, it packs a lot into. Um, a good size sort of graphic novel. Uh, there was this, um, <coughs> I read uh, The Creator by, story by Tony Hitchman, art by Leon, Leone Omur. And um, it was a good, well told, uh, quite smart story. It's a, um, a Mobius strip of this um wrote this uh android he's in a um i suppose sort of uh frankenstein style castle type thing or old century castle and he um keeps uh falling out the um the window 
and uh, going through the process of wondering who he is again and again. Um, how do I pronounce this? Karakuri. Is there any pressure? Um, yeah, Karakuri, I think is how you pronounce it. Um, story and art by Crispin Wilford, uh, script by Ian Dowson, Grey Tones by Andy Bloor. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what grey tones are. It might be the sky. So it's set in um, uh, old Japan. Um, it does look really cool. <laughs> I like that cool looking uh, samurai robot. Um, it Classed as steampunk as well, maybe. <clears throat> so armies of um, steampunk automaton samurai uh, roam Japan, and the um, the, sh the human shoguns battle them. And he uh, defeats them. Curry Curry, a mechanical device to tease, trick, or take a person by surprise, first developed during the Edo period of Japan. So maybe that's the first um, automatons. I'm not too sure. Um, Colosine by Bridgen Gillespie, um, really told through um, pictures, I think there's maybe one word in the whole thing. Yeah. Uh, really about a robot bunny. Uh, Job Satisfaction by John Eyre, uh, art by Nolan Worthington. I like that design of the um, the robot. And obviously put me in mind of Robocop. <laughs> uh, it's told by a um, writer. And uh, looking for inspiration at a uh, river and the uh, robot officer um, thinking he's a corpse out of the water. And um, the writer talks to the robot. The um, offers he offers the robot a lift in his car, and uh, that seems very really. <laughs> Highly against procedure, as I'm sure. So that's sort of a leap of um, logic or suspension of disbelief there. <clears throat> and um, it did sort of trick me. I thought the uh, writer would actually be the killer, although I don't think so. I think he's um, made the mistake of giving the robot a lift. And um, thus, evidence is uh, squirrely in his car. And Made Men, by, uh, written by J. Ailes and art by Charlie Spencer. Um, this is sort of a hard boiled um, detective thing, film noir stuff. Uh, quite violent in places. Uh, it doesn't really feature a. It features a robot, and it, the robot just gets. It's there as an enemy, and it gets beaten up. So. 
sort of a tenuous link. Uh, it's not really um, <clears throat> much to the story. It does feel like it's um, part of something else and you don't really know the uh, main character's um, story. Really, he's like a, a mobster or something. <clears throat> and I, I don't know if the ending sort of lost me. Um, the next one is um, my robot. Let's see, who is it by? Um, my robot story and art by Paul Harrison Davies, and um. This is quite a sad story, you know, once again with the sadness. <laughs> uh, he builds a robot. Um, he um, just uses it for housework. Um, <clears throat> uh, he abuses it and locks it in a cupboard for some reason and the um, the uh, robot works itself to death and it dies so as I say um, another sad story and um, that's been the theme of uh, robots and AI. Uh, I would probably say that the majority of um, stories in this uh, graphic novel are it's kind of sad and melancholy. Um, <clears throat> AI toys, AI super toys last all summer long. Um, mostly has a sad, melancholy tone to it. And um, I don't know about the Defenders, I'm not sure. Um, but there you go, uh, robots and AI have a sad sort of theme to them, I suppose, along, along the lines of um, mortality, I suppose. Um, but um, as I say, uh, Defenders by Philip K. Dick um, is the best story of New World's November so far. Um, hopefully tomorrow uh, I will finish this story. Um, A Logical Resolution by Robert Stearns. Let's see, um, Golden Robot. As you can see from the um, the front cover, uh, I don't know if this will be a sad story as well. It's got sort of a um, sort of sad <clears throat> feeling to it so far. Um, it's the last or nearing the last days of Earth. <coughs> Excuse me. The um, the star is sort of failing and then only some people can go off Earth um, out into space and um, some people can have to be uh, left behind but the um, the space for the robot and that causes some friction. Uh, as I say I should probably finish, yeah I'll finish it tomorrow. I don't have much to go. So I think I'll be quite good. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.